I am so anxious right now and just so like all over the place. I'm trying to screen record and record for two separate things for the Grammys tonight. Like I'm trying to record performances, but I'm also trying to record like the winners from the nomination so that way I could do the reactions to the performances, but then I can also do the other half of the nomination prediction video where I see who actually won. And I'm so stressed and confused and conflicted. Like I've never done this before. I'm doing two videos at the same time, but like while I'm doing the reactions, I don't want to spoil myself by doing it's okay, it don't make no sense. Hey, what's up y'all, it's your boy David Dubs and we are back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be reacting to the winners of the nominees for the 2023 Grammy Awards. Now, I did a prediction video about two months ago, so if you wanna watch that real quick, go and watch that. But yeah, the Grammys is on right now. You can hear my loud computer because I'm watching the Grammys right now, it's currently muted. So I wrote down the predictions from my last video onto my phone so that way I can have them with me while I react to the winners. Without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure you follow me on my social medias here and link down in the description below. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you, let's get into this Grammy reaction. So I actually watched and reacted to the televised awards. You guys are gonna see that shortly, but before we get to those, I wanna do all of the non-televised awards so we can get those out of the way. All right, let's start with the best rap song. I said that The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar or Wait For You by Future, Drake and Tim's was going to win. It went to The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar. Okay, I had a feeling he was gonna win that one. All right, next we have Best Melodic Rap Performance. I said Die Hard by Kendrick or Wait For You by Future Drake and Tim's. Let's see. <gasps> Wait For You won! Yeah, 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 it should have, and it did, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I told him, I said, ma'am. Next we have Best Rap Performance. I said either Vegas by Doja or The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar. Low-key reading for Vegas by Doja, but let's see. The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar. So he won a few awards, not just the televised one, but like, cause he won <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't say that. That's a spoiler. I didn't say that. I'm bleeping it out. I'm blurring it out. But he, he's won a few awards so far. We're going now to best R&B album. I said either Mary J. Blige or Lucky Day. Oh, Black Radio 3 is the winner by Robert Glasper. Okay. I've never heard of the album. Y'all let me know if the album is good down in the comments below. We're going to move on to best traditional R&B performance. This one was actually spoiled for me. Um, Plastic Off the Sofa was the winner by Bianca. Yeah, Plastic Off the Sofa deserves and it, and it, and it, and it collected. So, <laughs> Renaissance is already a Grammy winning album. Thank you, Plastic Off the Sofa. You can take the plastic off of the sofa now. I'm, okay. All right, after that is Best R&B Performance. Now, this is crazy. This is just really crazy. Like, this is maddening. Times are maddening because of this. Like, the world is actually, like, going to shit because of this. Best R&B performance, Virgo's Groove was in that category, and Virgo's Groove did not win. It didn't win. Hours and Hours by Money Long won. And that's okay. But, like, Virgo's Groove is literally the best song released last year. So, none of the songs in this category compare. Those old men in the academy need to pay. But, uh, hey, I'm happy. It was another black woman, but Virgo's group. Next we have the last non-televised category and it is best dance slash electronic recording. And I said Break My Soul was going to win. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So these were all of the awards given before the Grammy started. Now to the televised awards. Enjoy. These are the nominees for best pop vocal album. Okay. My prediction was Harry's House. I'm nervous. I'm actually shaking, but it's also cold in here. And the Grammy goes to. What is it? Harry's House. Harry, stop! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's not the same. Thank you so much. 
This album from start to finish has been the greatest experience of my life. Okay, if he's winning um, best pop vocal album, he can't. Two of my best Let me shut up. To playing it. And listen to his acceptance has speech. Been the greatest joy I could have asked for. So, thank you so much. Uh, I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're talking about Renaissance right now. Song Church Girl specifically for me. It just speaks to the duality of being more than one thing. Like y'all can hear it, but I'm not screen recording. Hold on, hold on. Y'all gonna be able to see it in a second. She's not telling us what's out there. She's setting the trends and telling us what needs to be out there, and that is okay. Let me slide over so y'all can get a better so you picture. Put that album one, front to back, no skips. You get up, you dance. Come on, you won't break my song. Like <laughs> that's what we need. Yeah, stand up for her. You know, I would stand up too, but then I would be out of frame because you know I'm like six foot. What a night. Best R&B song, I said, Hours and Hours and Cuff It by Bianca. These are the nominees for best R&B song. Heart is racing. I don't like this. Jesus. The Grammy goes to... I'm... Cuff It! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She's not even there yet, is she? Who's walking up? Oh, that's a man. DP time. Beyonce thinks so. Well, I feel like she's gonna do something tonight. Beyonce is on her way, but you know the upside of hosting the, uh, the upside of hosting the Grammys in LA is that everyone can be here. And, oh, she's gonna be there. Just for reference, how are you, Mr. Navarro? Congratulations, congratulations. Just for reference. Be for real. Beyonce be the most for real. Like, calm down. Like, it's not the serious. Record. For most Grammys of any individual of all time. Roger, I'm actually shaking. It's been amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> like I'm trying to be the most calm right now. I'm trying to be the most for real of all time. Um, <laughs> he should not have told me that she was on her way. Okay. I think a commercial's coming. I need a commercial. Oh, thank God. Best pop duo group performance. I said Bomb Bomb by Camila Cabello and Ed Sheeran or My Universe by Coldplay and BTS. And the Grammy goes to... Unholy, Sam Smith and Kim Petras. Okay, I was not expecting that. Are they performing tonight too? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where has she been? Where have Olivia Rodrigo been? Kind of miss her. Oh <gasps> She's God, here. Thank you so much. Told ya. Sam has been a supporter of mine for so long. Um, Sam graciously wanted me to accept this award because I'm the first uh, transgender woman to win this award. <laughs> I just want to thank um, all the incredible transgender legends before me who kicked these doors open for me so I could be here tonight. Uh, my mother, um, I grew up uh, next to a highway no, in nowhere, Germany, and my mother believed me that I was a girl and um, I wouldn't be here without her um, and her support. <laughs> Sam, thank you. You're a true angel and hero in my life and I love you. And everyone who made the song, too. I love you guys so much. <laughs> That was so cute. For best rap album, I said Mr. Morale by Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick? I feel like it's going to Kendrick. Oh, she looks good. <laughs> now you just dapping everybody up, basically. Family Shannon got cute as hell with these tables. Got your... <laughs> got the wine, big apple cider and all that. No, first and foremost, I want to thank my family for giving me the courage, you know, and uh, the, the vulnerability to share these stories and share my truth with this album. I want to thank my fans for trusting me with these words, you know? Yeah. We say things to provoke, 
thoughts and, and feelings and emotions. So making this record, it's one of my toughest records to make. Going back and thinking back where I started with rap and how far it came, I would like to thank the culture for allowing me to evolve in order to make a song. Like Mother I'm Sober, that's special to me. All we ever wanted was to be the biggest underground artist of all time. And I finally found imperfection with this album, so I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Best dance slash electronic music album I said Renaissance by Beyonce. To announce the winner of Best Dance and Electronic Album. Because of course I am. I'm the first name on your lips when you think of such an award. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Best Dance Electronic Music Album. Quaking on the inside. Okay, this is an honor. Oh, it's Beyonce. We are witnessing history tonight. Oh. Breaking the record for the most Grammy wins of all time. Be upstanding and show your respect. It's Renaissance, Beyonce. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 okay. History is made. Thank you so much. I'm trying not to be too emotional. And I'm trying to just receive this night. Oh, she can't cry. She can't do that. I want to thank God for protecting me. Thank you, God. <laughs> she said that because of Sam Smith's performance. I'd like to thank my Uncle Johnny. But he's here in spirit. I'd like to thank my parents, my father, my mother. I'd like to thank my beautiful husband, my beautiful three children who are at home watching. I'd like to thank the queer community for your love and for inventing the genre. God bless you. Thank you so much for the Grammys. Thank you. <laughs> Two, you are part of this. She now holds the all-time record for the most Grammy wins. So we can finally end the GOAT debate. It's done now. All right, who's the GOAT? It's Beyonce. Yeah, it's done. best pop solo performance. I said Easy On Me by Adele. These are the outstanding nominees for best pop solo performance. <laughs> and the Grammy goes <laughs> Someone to yelled, Adele! Get up here, best friend, Adele. Can <laughs> not get up here, best friend? Oh, thank you. Thank I you. Really, um, I really She's so cute. Just looking forward to coming tonight. I, really, I just want to dedicate this to my son, Angelo. And I love a piano ballad winning <laughs> any kind of award because it's very old school and very brave. But love you all, <laughs> artists. Of you. Good night. Song of the year, I had three nominations. I had Easy On Me by Adele, As It Was by Harry Styles, and then Break My Soul by Beyonce. The Grammy Award for Song of the Year, which for all of Grammy history was honored excellence in the art of songwriting. These are the extraordinary nominees. I have something to say about this category about Taylor Swift, but I'll say it after they announce the winner. And the Grammy goes to... Just Like That. Oh, congrats to her. I was not expecting her to win at all, and I don't even think she was expecting to win. So, what, I was gonna, what I'm going to say is, Two month old Debbie who did the Grammy nominations prediction. Um, I'm so sorry to Taylor Swift because in just those two months from that video to this video, All Too Well 10 minute version, Taylor's version from The Vault is such an excellent track. It's currently in the top 10 on the Debbie Doves Hot 100 chart. And like that song is excellent. I root for that song. If it would have won just now, I would have been very happy. That's like one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. 
Like, it, it jumped into my top 10 Taylor Swift songs of all time. Like, it's that popular to me now. That's all I needed to say. Anyways, congrats to Justine, I think was her name. Congrats to her. And I don't mean that in the shady way at all. This was a category, I was expecting someone more popular to win, but maybe she is popular and just not in my demographic, so I don't know her. But yeah, I'm not mad at all, I'm not upset. Record of the year, I said Break My Soul by Beyonce and then Woman by Doja Cat. Here are the nominees for Record of the Year. Be calm and for real. Okay, I don't know how you pick one of them, but the Grammy goes to Lizzo for about damn far. Absolutely. I decided to dedicate my life to making positive music. This was at a time when positive music and feel-good music wasn't mainstream at that point, and I felt very misunderstood. Mm. I felt on the outside looking in. And now I look around and there's all these songs that are about loving our bodies and feeling comfortable in our skin. And Come to my skin. With who I am. I'd like to believe that not only can people do good, but we just are good. We are good inherently. Team Lizzo, my team, my rock, my family, my mama, my sister, my brother, my daddy. Lastly, because I feel like there's so many goaded artists. This is my last time up here. Beyonce. I knew it. I was. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Great. I skipped school to see you perform. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. it was and um, where are you at, Beyonce? My arms are wet. <laughs> <laughs> you changed my life. You clearly are the artist of our lives. God bless y'all. Did she change her outfit? I don't remember it being black at the top. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Best new artist, I predict Lotto is gonna take that one. She's had an amazing, like, come up. But I wouldn't be mad if uh, uh, other artists won this one. I will never forget last year's Grammy Awards, including the experience of winning Best New Artist, an award that has gone to heroes of mine from the Beatles to Billie Eilish. These are the 10 extremely gifted nominees for Best New Artist. And the Grammy goes to... Samara Joy! Oh! Just from that little clip that played when it was her turn, I was like, her voice is excellent. I don't even know what she was singing, but it was it was nice. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe, I've been watching y'all on TV for like so long. <laughs> so, <laughs> to be here with you all, born and raised in the Bronx, New York, my family's here. I'm so sorry, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you to everyone who has listened to me, who has supported me. All of you are so inspiring to me. By just being myself, <laughs> by just being who I was born as, it's just, I'm, I'm so thankful. Thank you to my team, thank you. Oh, thank you to Booking, thank you to Management, Matt, Chris. Oh my gosh, thank you all, I have a wonderful night. I'm so, so grateful, thank you. Album of the year, I said 30 by Adele or Renaissance by Beyonce. I will also be okay if Harry's House won, but I really just think, you know, Renaissance needs to take this one. Come on up, come on up, come oh on. no, this yeah, is he you, making a big up, spectacle out of this. I'm nervous. Very nervous. Let's take one more look at the outstanding nominees tonight for Album of the Year. And the Grammy goes to, you can read it. Harry Styles! I've 
been so, so inspired by every artist in this category with me at a lot of different times in my life. I listen to everyone in this category when I'm alone. This is really, really kind. I'm so, so grateful. I'm going to pass it over to my collaborators who are... <laughs> He's just so nonchalant. So, uh, this doesn't happen to people like me very often, and this is so, so nice. Thank you very, very much. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Harry Styles' album!